Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown from March 21st to March 26th, 2017. As was forecast, UK and Europe to receive strange snows in March. Let's start with the beaches near Venice being covered. Dust storms forecast as well, now blowing sand over Greece ski resorts. UK, yellow wind, yellow ice, amber snow, amber ice. And these totals will bring us to the 19th. Already heavy snows coming down in several areas, road blockages. London, more snow coming. And a bit of advice, when a train's coming, pushing snow, please get out of the way. Flooding and debris flows possible. California, massive snowfalls on tap. Fourth nor'easter is going to roll up the east coast as it progresses through Thursday and Friday. And as it does, when it loops back on itself, it's going to drag Arctic temperatures down. Look at where the snow is going to fall initially over these next couple of days. A foot plus around New York. You know what the snows were like during the last one, two, and three nor'easters. Erie, Pennsylvania is going to break even its all-time snow record more with this snowfall. And looking up to see the delay in the cherry blossom blooms, Google, they gave me a warm weather article as the very first entry. But the peak bloom has been pushed back at least 10 days. So this is what it's going to look like when you arrive with the snow on top. Now continuing to follow the European Superfreeze 2.0 as that cold pocket breaks off and descends into northern Africa. Spain, warm sunny holiday. Wait a second. Road conditions. Alpine conditions. Berlin, thick coating. Snowy beaches in France. Flooding in Albania. Massive dust storms. Algeria under snow. Now, wait a second. You have to understand. They said it is absolutely rare Sahara Desert snows. And this is way back in January of 2018. So where does this leave us? This is at the end of March. And this is how thick the snow is in that same exact area. They said it was super rare back in January. Snow totals here. Look at how much is coming down in Algeria. Look how much is coming down in Eastern Europe. Below normal temperatures, and also covering the nor'easter 4.0 in the east coast of the U.S. Look at the size of the hail that came down in Alabama. And also I get so many comments saying, oh, it's been like this in the 1970s, 1960s, had a repeat. Well, look how many sunspots there were compared to where we are now. Do you really see anything that happens with our sun affecting the climate on our planet? Heavy Martian dust storms, Technicolor Crete, blasting Saharan sand, blizzards in Romania, snow devils in Wales. Spanish port closed from too much snow on the road to access it. Record snows in Algeria, sun halos in Germany, a cyclone about to slam into France. And there are feet and feet of more snow on the way. And I do want to thank every single one of you. I am so happy and grateful. We, and I do mean we, not I, we as a community sharing information have reached 10 million views on ADAPT 2030. A few thousand more subscribers and it'll be 50,000 as well. At that point, people will really start to share the message and take it seriously. So what do you get when you have incredibly dense sandstorms ripping off of Africa, colliding with blizzards over Eastern Europe? Orange snowstorms. Layers of dust visible as the feet of snow are coming down. Let's just talk about Greece. Extreme weather contrast. Snow in the north. Sahara dust in the south. Well, how much snow would Greece be getting in April almost? about this much. Italy, buried. France, snow. France, Cyclone Hugo making landfall. Satellite trajectory where it's moving. 
Algeria, even more snow and even more intense sandstorms are on the way over the week up into Europe. And I do believe the Grand Solar Minimum is saying, hello everyone, are you preparing?